What up, what up, world? This is your homeboy, Wordplay TJ, and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm going to talk about some resolutions that you can use for the new year. Stay tuned. All right, if this is your first time here, my name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip-hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas, and what I do is make music for the underdog. So I created this channel to help people like myself navigate through the music business and also share this art. So if you want to learn something, stay along with the ride and... Uh, you can gather gather some information from me. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so thinking about resolutions for musicians, right? Every year we go through this ritual where we create some res resolutions and if we stick with them or not is, is kind of determined by our lives. But uh, ultimately, I, I think most people stick to maybe a few things and then they, they uh, let go of a lot more other things that they wanted to change for the year. What I'm thinking about is musicians who want to make some changes, but want to make uh, a lot of changes, but do it in a in a systemic way. And so that's kind of what I want to touch on in this video. So one of the first things that I think about is prioritizing your mental health. And this is really, really important. Mental health can be a barrier to improving some other things, whether it be your physical health or your music itself or your music business. So if your your mind's not in the right place, it's going to be a, a, a huge uphill battle in order to uh, improve everything else. So here's some things that I want to talk about therapy, meditation and optimism. So for therapy, there's ways for you to access their therapy. I understand that it's number one, difficult to find the, the money and the insurance. And it's also difficult to find, um, you know, a, a therapist that's the right fit for you. So that may be a bit of a struggle, but you have to kind of work through it in order to take care of it. Think about places like BetterHelp, um, your own employer's insurance, if they offer it right, make sure you're taking advantage of that and also private insurance, right? So, um, things like Obamacare, or I guess it's more public insurance, but public insurance is something that you should uh, think about meditation. There's apps like headspace and calm, and this isn't sponsored by them. So beware. <laughs> um, but I use headspace on a, on a regular basis and, um, I really like it, it, it's really great for my meditation practice and it helps put me in a in a, a better state better mental state on a regular basis and as you learn meditation as you do it consistently um, I think you will end up in a better spot um, and the last one is optimism so this one's a little difficult to talk about because I, I believe our human brains want to push us into a pessimistic type of uh, worldview and that's that's not necessarily the reality that we that we live in, right? So there are bad things in the world, but this is a protection mechanism. Things aren't as bad as when we were out in the fields trying to hunt for our food. Things weren't as bad when the world was in a constant state of uh, wars everywhere, right? So things are better than, than what they were before. That doesn't mean that I need to minimize, right, your experiences or anything like that. That just means that try to think about your current circumstance think about the ways that you are very fortunate and and set your expectations based off of those those fortunes versus all of the barriers or obstacles that are in the way so the next piece is thinking about your physical health right so these are three categories as well exercise diet and sleep so if you don't like going to the gym you can maybe take a walk you can actually go to the gym if that's your thing, or you can play sports that you enjoy in order to kind of exercise that. Diet's another part, right? So I, I everybody's diet has to be different and, and unique to them. And so what I say is pay attention to what makes you feel good or what makes you feel bad. If it makes you feel bad, maybe you're eating too much of it or you shouldn't be eating it at all, right? So just consider that when it comes to your diet. And what I've done in, in my past is audited my diet. So I took things that I would eat um, if I ate too much and that made me feel bad and I stopped doing that as much. Um, if I uh, ate a certain thing and that made me feel bad, I would stop eating that thing altogether. And so what I did was slowly over time learn what was good for me and what was not good for me. 
the last part is sleep. Sleep is super important to making sure that you can get all of these things done. So track your sleep if you need to with some apps or a fitness band. Um, use a meditation app to relax right before bed, right? Make sure you kind of get rid of your screens if you need to. And then take more naps right throughout the day. If you feel like you're tired, just go ahead and take a nap if you have the time. The next thing is studying the music business, right? This is important in, in these three categories are publishing, promotion, and distribution, right? So learn how to get your money from performing rights organizations. Make sure you learn about other royalties. Work on ways that you can promote your music, whether it be free or paid. And I talk about all of these things on this channel. And then make sure you distribute your music. Don't hold it to yourself, right? Don't just say, oh, nobody is ever going to like this. Then I'm never going to put it out. And so think about using some courage in order to put your music out. Speaking of, I want to take the time to promote my ebook. It's called Four Piece to Starting Your Independent Music Career. It's available for $5 and it's right there on my website. You can find a link down in the description or just go to wordplaytj.com. So the last thing on this list is making sure that you improve your music and that's so important to being a musician and doing it as a business right so there's two things that I, I like to focus on and these two things are included in the ebook it's quality and consistency so quality first talks about practicing your instrument whether it's your voice or an instrument itself make sure that you do better recordings better mixes better masters and if you need to outsource that work go ahead and do so and then the last thing is consistency right if you're making quality music, then put it out more consistently. Today's world is about consuming things. And so therefore, you need to be able to compete with other people that are putting things out. And that means put out things consistently. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to like it if you like it. Be sure to share it with somebody if you got something out of it. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. Tell me what they know about me I've been hearing whispers but they so far away You can tell they at a distance So off base I can really dismiss them huh? Why they think they got permission I don't get it huh? No. Talking about our business like they running things Run. David to these buses like it's fun and games Playing. Throwing all the stones then they run away Go. It's my own pet peeve when they conversate